And what I've done is I've downloaded PHP from PHP.net. I downloaded the now thread thre safe version. I extracted it to my C slash PHP directory. And I copied the PHP INI disk file um, to the Windows directory. That's basically all I've done so far. We start out PHP. We're going to use the CGI module that comes with IIS. And we're going to point to PHP CGI. So I'm still in those fields. Click OK. It says, do you want to allow this SAPI or CGI to run? I say yes. And now we can go ahead and create our PHP site. So to do that, let's go ahead. I've got uh, an application in QDIG. I don't know if you've seen QDIG. It's up on SourceForge. Basically, uh, imagine it. A photo gallery change that. Index.php. Go ahead and apply. And now we can come back, refresh the page. And there we go, QDIG's running. Click on Photos Gallery. And there we go. So it's running as expected. I've got a uh, start up the client. It's basically hits the uh, hits the QDIG application and it will tell us here in just a second how many requests per second it's able to achieve. So you can see right here, and that's in front of it. 24 requests per second on my laptop running QDIG with, with, with uh, CGI module 25 on that now. We can bring up Task Manager real quick and you can see what's going on. Handler, mapping, and add our own. PHP, this time to fast CGI. And we're going to point to the same PHP CGI. We want it to allow us to run. Yes, we do. And come back to our site. Request. As you can see, it's still working. So now let's go ahead and start up the controller again. And start up the client. So now we're getting 58 requests per second. So more than double the requests. In this case, this particular application is uh, very much disk-bound. And so we're seeing it. And hit the page again. Make sure save in the right place. Now we can start the controller and the client. And instead of getting 58 requests per second, how many guesses do you guess what we're going to get? Quick, quick, come show up. 400 requests per second. About 7,940. <laughs> That's the beauty of output caching. And you can use it with PHP applications, Ruby any language, any type of uh, dynamic content. Um, one other thing real quick I'll show is uh, another feature you can 